Women are literally driving the human race towards extinction at the moment in the biggest case of <laughs> around and find out the world has ever seen by refusing to have kids because they don't like the way men treat women and they don't like the way that society treats mothers. And so they're like, you know what? Instead of having kids and continuing the human race, let's just go extinct. Like, let's just all go extinct. And this isn't only happening in South Korea. I don't know if you saw that report a few weeks ago that said that for the fourth year in a row, the birth rate there was dangerously low compared to the death rate. And if that continues, you end up with loads of old people and not enough young people to support them and support the economy. Human extinction. Interesting. Let me stop her there. Women choosing not to reproduce. There's no more baby. Deliberately, the 4B movement from South Korea. But the points I've been making recently about Western women adopting it. Let's just go extinct. Like, let's just all go extinct. Ex <laughs> like the map. This is exactly my point. But the point I want to add to it as well is what do men think about it? Because for some men who don't want to have kids and they're content, like, I'm good. Like single bachelor men who don't want to reproduce. Nope. Who are content with their lives. Inner peace. I wonder if those men care. Do you care? If you're not having kids, is it an issue for you? But it's also the fact that in terms of the future economy, a lot of people do care, but at the same time, that is somewhat selfish. People, and not enough young people to support them and support the economy. It's again to have people as what, just reproducing sheep to make sure that we... Let's go replenish the ranks. Have people in the future to provide services. Sexy nurse, sexy stripper, Chewbacca. Right. Sexy hot dog. Which is interesting as well. Like, let's just all go ex 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 <laughs> But then also AI. Love me. Find all the humans. Robots. Well, we don't have to worry about that in the future because we'll have robots and machines and thinking computers to do certain labor tasks for us. A machine. So we wouldn't need that many people anyway. What about overpopulation? Isn't that a question as well? Why? I'm just saying, from my personal perspective, the 4B movement's interesting, but it's to the point where women don't even want to have sex either. Disgusting. With men. It's like, okay, all right. Okay, you don't need to go so far. And then you have fewer women in each generation and fewer of them are having kids and then eventually you go extinct. And when they're asking women in South Korea, why are you doing this? In part, they're saying they don't like men. They don't like the way that men treat them. And they're like, why would I have a kid with this idiot? Like, why would I breed from this idiot? Why would I pass this idiot's DNA on? I don't wow. care if you say that we're going to go in extinct. Like, I don't care if my uterus is all that stands between like us and extinction. I'm not doing it. It's not worth it for me so I'm not gonna do it and this is happening everywhere like they reckon that by the year 2050 75% of nations will be in the same situation and by 2100 the year 2100 it'll be 97% of nations because women are refusing to have kids because we're sick of this crap like in my country at the moment in Britain the average birth rate is 1.5 children per woman and it needs to be 2.1 and it's set to plummet to 1.3 in this <laughs> Okay, let me stop here. There are some obvious points here. It's expensive AF to raise a child. Daycare alone is expensive. Bruh. Even if you can't afford it, it's a lot of money. It's like, F, like, Jesus Christ, why is it so much? Daylight robbery. So look, having children now, or even having more children now is like, no, nope. So to some degree, it's one thing to think about the future, but if you're thinking about right now, how many people can afford to even have children? I can't afford that. How many people can afford to even have more children if you already have? Being someone who already has, it would be expensive to have more. I'm just, uh... And for some people, they don't want to have any to begin with. And like, can you blame them? Even if just for money, my God, it's expensive. But then that's selfish, isn't it? If you're thinking about it, we're not thinking about, oh, the human race. <laughs> The future, the population of the world. They don't f***ing give a shit. You've got to replace human beings or there'll be no one in the future. And everyone really will be dating AIs and fucking robots like I said in my previous video. Ah. Look, there is a point to this where it's understandable if you're thinking about yourself. However, on the other side, some people would say, well, we need more people. But then you could also say, don't we have enough people? Do we really need more people? How on one hand can we complain about overpopulation? But on the other hand, there's a fear of scarcity of humans in the future <laughs> it's interesting i can see the perspectives of women not wanting to be treated like crap i can yeah i can get that you're not special it's understandable no one wants to be treated like crap but the repercussions one of them being an extinction it's like really it's like i don't think it would get that far to be honest but okay same thing is going to happen in the us because women just don't want to have any kids and i can see why it's because forever we have been told that all we're good for is having children, 
but also that that's not really that important because it still doesn't make us the default gender. It still doesn't make us the important gender. It's men who get to earn all the money and have all the fun. They're the ones who get to keep all of their leisure time. They're the ones who get to own most of the world's land. Okay, that's true. I get her point. A lot of those men would bring an income into the household. And you could say if he has a good enough job, which to have enough to have one person in the household raise a family with one income, that's, yeah, that's going to be rare nowadays as well. Unless you have that much money, unless you have a job that's consistent enough to raise multiple children on for decades. In this modern world, there's no guarantee. The amount of jobs that have just disappeared over the past few years and whatnot. I mean, what guarantee do you even have that your stable job is going to be there in another 10 years? inner peace it is expected that a husband does bring in a majority of the income so whereas for as much as women do it's expected that a man does a decent amount okay so she's saying because of an imbalance is why a lot of women are just choosing to say no completely and they're not doing it okay and speak most of the world's words because we're just women and mothers and that's not that important and so why would we do it it is important like, why, why would we do it What's the incentive here? Because women actually know that having children takes a massive toll on our physical health and our mental health and that we're then expected to live our lives in servitude to these children, to these future worker bees so that they can take care of the aging population and our entire lives will be changed by having a child but we're also constantly told that that's not that important but that's all we are but that's not important and so we're looking at the situation and we're like why would I do this? I'd rather put a backpack on and go travelling. I don't care if we go extinct. Like, wh like, why would why would I do this? Where's the incentive? There isn't one. We're not even appreciated for doing it. Like, we're actually like brought down for doing it. Why would we do it? Why not instead just go out there and explore this world and live our lives? And that's what more and more women are doing. They're making the decision. And that's understandable. Women traveling the world to live their life, like, that's an interesting perspective as well because men don't care. No one cares. You don't hear men complaining about it. Now, this is the point. Men see that there's a weird shift happening as well. But some men that realize that I can't find this in Western countries, they're leaving Western countries to go to other countries. Woo! Hence passport bros. Suck it. Oh, shut up, woman. But here's the point in what she's saying. No one is insulting women traveling the world. No one cares. Passport bros are something to insult. Fucking men. When it's like, that's the point again, which I still don't understand about why women care about passport bros. This woman might not care, not using, not talking about her, but it's like, yes, the world's changed, traditions and modern things, it's, it's all confusing now. Some people are happy and content with what's modern. Some people still want traditional. Attractively. A lot of men are leaving to find traditional. Okay. A lot of women are leaving to travel and find themselves. Okay. No one cares about that. It's only the men doing it that seem to have some sort of burden on them. Even if you understand the movement, it's like, what is the issue with, like, what men aren't allowed to be happy at all? But it's an illusion. It seems like. It's like, fine if these women don't want to be happy with the men, but why do they put up such a fight to men that are content with leaving? Do that instead. So here's the thing. If you don't want to go extinct, you better beg us to start having kids and you better make it worth our while. Wow. Like... <laughs> That's the only solution here. Wow. That's the only way that we get out of I didn't see this part. Of this mess. Women need to be recognised for their importance. Not just in terms of having children, but everything glorious that they bring to this world. Because we've been told for all this time that, like, it's not us, it's not you, you're not the important ones. Like, you're, you guys aren't the key workers here, and now actually we're seeing that, that we are the key workers, and actually we are vitally important for the continuation of the human race. And before anybody jumps up in here and is like, well, then you guys are selfish. Why don't you just take one for the team? And Okay, again, the entire thought perspective that some, some women in the West have, is why a lot of men are leaving. You better beg, beg beggars to start having kids. And why would you blame them? If they have to stay and tolerate and they have to beg a woman to uh, please, or oh, please just be, be decent enough 
so I can stay with you and pay for your life and you'll have my babies and I'll still just, what, just sacrifice myself for you. I am the table. She's crazy. It's like, look, again, a lot of people don't seem to care what women want to do. Yeah, a lot of people troll women, insult them, cat ladies, whatever, whatever. A lot of men are like, you know what, F it, I'm just going to go where I'm wanted. It's crazy. And a lot of them do. Because for a lot of them, this is what they have to face in being here. Bag, 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 start having kids. Being in a Western country. Bag, bag, bag. This. Not saying that her wants for women... Not saying that those wants are wrong. I'm not saying anything to do with that. For everything she wants, okay, that's cool. Some men are like, you know what? F it. Because what do I get for being that man? For certain, some women in the West, some again. Sacrifice your physical and mental health to have children. Like, what would they just do that? The, the human race depends on it. This isn't our fault. It's yours. Always the man's fault. It's society's fault and society has been True. run by men for all these years and you have left us feeling I understand the point, but it's not ran by everyday men, but okay, okay, I get you I get what she's saying, the patriarchy, okay, okay. Underappreciated and unvalued for everything that we have to offer, including having children and raising them and raising the next generation. And we just don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> and we're not gonna Fuck around and find out. And a lot of men did if around, I guess, and found out. But again, the stigma on men that want to escape the trap of what the West is in terms of having a traditional marriage, why would you blame them? When if they stay, they have to beg. How? And I stay. Bag, 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 start having kids.